What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome. Today I wanted to kind of go over my process of cutting a new material. So I got a call today and they asked if I could cut uh, some 3 8 inch thick material. I told them yes I probably could but I never had done it. Uh, it turned out that they needed it turned around really quickly so I was unable to help with that but I went ahead and bought some 3 8 material. So what I want to do with this episode is show you guys just a really quick way to make a test circle because circles are one of the things that plasma struggles with a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to show you guys the settings that I use. I'm not going to go in too much depth about how I got them, but uh, I used a graph, which I will show a picture of, to roughly calculate what I needed to uh, start at. Let's get into it. The initial settings that I used were calculated using uh, a graph of known good uh, feeds and speeds on my plasma. Now the majority of what I cut is uh, 16 gauge for signs, which uh, most of you guys are familiar with if you do any plasma cutting. I use a lot of 10 gauge. It's actually probably what I cut the most of for fire pits. I make a lot of fire pits locally and I sell a couple uh, online. And then uh, I've also done some quarter inch. As you can see, I've used it in a couple of places, especially here on uh, the gantry. So those are the three materials that I cut the most of. I've got a bunch of tools in my sheet cam profiles for tests. Um, those I use occasionally, like uh, I think one time I cut 14 gauge and I used one of the test profiles rather than creating a, uh, a new profile for that material. No idea why, really should have uh, created a new tool set for it. Here's a picture of the graph that I used to calculate my feeds and speeds. It came up with roughly 23. I ended up going with 20. Now as we'll see later that may not have worked out all that great. Here we're going to go ahead and make a really quick circle. Now I want this circle to be two inches uh, or so because the customer said that they wanted a gusset that had holes that were like one and seven eighths so I figured might as well do two inches. I'm not going to show you guys uh, the file path, but uh, just make sure that you import it into Sheet Cam using New Part, just like this. And then uh, here we go. So I'm going to go up to Operation and I'm going to select Plasma. We're going to run it at 20 inches a minute and just see where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and put the delay at 0.7 because that's about what the hypertherms use, even though this is a razor cut. And I'm going to set the pierce height at 0.2. So let's go ahead and post process that and get it out to the CNC. Now that we're out here, we're going to go ahead and run this. I'm going to square everything up and see where we're at. We're going to go ahead and run this test cut. Initially we can absolutely see that the pierce delay is not enough. You can see from the splash where we've got a bunch of material spraying up that we have not pierced completely through in every location which means that 20 inches per minute is just not going to be quick enough for this. We initially went through after the pierce and then as we went faster, it just it did not stay all the way through the material. So I'm going to modify the G code right here at the machine because this is pretty simple. It's just a circle. So I'm going to change the feed rate to 12 and see where we're at. Also going to change the uh, pierce delay to one second. Let's go ahead and cut this one, see where we're at. Now that we're cutting, it looks like we're doing a lot better. So 12 inches per minute is probably about where we want to be. We can probably speed it up a little bit. Now I can tell right here that my edge angularity is really bad. These consumables are actually old. So uh, I'm going to swap them out and then we're going to go ahead and cut a, uh, a target out of the rest of this piece. Now I'm not going to show that 
but I will show you guys the final product. All right guys, so I actually cut two. Now, this one here was the one that I cut out of the, uh, the piece that you guys saw there with the circles in it. Uh, this is what I was able to fit, and I figured, heck, why not? Now, with the new consumables, I've actually got really good edge angularity. Now, you can see where I ground the entry point there just a little bit, but the edge looks really great. I'm very pleased with that one. Now, I actually just cut this one. So, it's been a day now since, uh, since filming initially. I wanted to do another one of these, but I also had uh, another file that I cut, which actually is right up there. Uh, I went ahead and cut that Punisher. That is something. I took a design that I found online and modified it fairly significantly and kind of made it my own. Cut that one out. Um, and when I did, it, uh, it apparently wore the consumables a little bit more, so the edge angularity on this one... I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see it, but it's definitely tapered more. You can really see it in those corners. The holes really don't look all that great. Uh, they look okay, but uh, they're, they're not amazing. So while we're on, on the topic of that, uh, that's probably my biggest complaint with this, uh, this unit. So I'm never able to get really great holes out of it. That's pretty slow, and uh, they still just, they've got some taper, it's brand new consumables too, so I think that with this razor cut, I'm never going to be able to get perfect holes. But, these are definitely usable. Uh, I don't know how comfortable I'd be selling these, but these are for personal use, so no big deal. Uh, but, really, all in all, they turned out pretty good. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what you guys think of the actual targets, too. Um, this one's 11 inches tall, so it's, it's a little bit uh, out of scale. Probably should have made it 10 inches so it was proper, but uh, proper third scale, but no big deal. This is a 5-inch gong, uh, so let me know what you guys think of these. Let me know what you think of that, uh, that Punisher up there, too, if you guys can see it. But uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, it helps you kind of figure out your test settings or what you need to do to get the proper settings when uh, you're doing a new material on your plasma. So I will see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome. What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome. I couldn't find any enabled video skills that can find that. Go to the Alexa app to manage your video skills and devices.